Uh, the name of the event is the Flynn Farm Great Pumpkin Challenge. Uh, this year, the subtitle, I guess that you would call it, is uh, Easton Schools versus Schools. You know, it's a, it's a whole campaign of, of, of growing something and, and growing, growing dreams, growing imagination, you know, and getting a kid in, in the soil. The marriage between Coast of Maine and Flynn Farm is, for this project, this whole product, the, the project itself is, is just, I think it's great. It That's really cool. is. We take the, the product from Coast of Maine, uh, we, we sell it here, uh, and to get it into the schools. And it, it's a great product line. Uh, it's, it's organic. It's got so much stuff in it that, that people will talk to you about. Um, but I think the real, the real thing here is, you know, who's going to grow the biggest pumpkin? We are! <laughs> to get the thousand pound pumpkin from here to there, it needs to be watered, loved, cared for in so many ways. Uh, and also needs to get started in the right soil. Because you're gonna get really dirty today. <laughs> um, now to grow something really huge like a pumpkin, do you guys know that we're gonna use probably the smallest living thing to get there? What can make you sick sometimes? Germs. Yeah. Now I'm talking about germs that are good for you. Bacteria, there's a lot of bacteria in the world that we can't live without, that really help us. And there's a lot in the soil that help us grow things. So that's what's in this bag. We've got compost in here, and it's full of life that's going to help grow your pumpkin to be a thousand pound pumpkin. Yeah, I think it's right. time to uh, crack open the bag. You guys see how I did that? For each school should have three peat pots filled, okay? Yes? Yes. You all good? Yes. Okay. Each pot is going to get three seeds. Everyone has the same exact seed. So you're going to take your seed and you're going to make a triangle with it with one seed at each point of the triangle. Point down. Put it in just below the surface and lightly cover it up. Don't pack them down. You want to keep it nice and light. As soon as your plants have two sets of leaves, we're going to load them all up onto a wagon and we're going to call the school the day before, and we're going to deliver your plants to your schools. Yeah. <laughs> and at that point, they're your babies. Uh, and you will be able to grow them as big as your imagination and your love can. I'm so excited by, by seeing everyone here and the support that I, we have through the community from NRT. Uh, and the school board and everyone, it's just great. So, mark the calendars, September 30th, uh, we're going to be weighing. School. Hi. Hi, how are you? So you guys are the winning school? We are, yes. Uh, yeah, how many kids did you have participating in, in growing? It's hard to say because in, in some ways probably the entire school um, participated in, in many aspects of it. Um, just in the past month that school has been back in session, you know, I think just about every child every in child there has, has measured, measured exactly. helped us plan, had some level involvement throughout the summer. So how many kids would that be? 400. Close to 400. 400. 400, 400, 400 children have been involved in this, okay. yes. Um, and a newborn who was there. The whole <laughs> Him, but uh, just yes, this, the guy that we couldn't see the whole time. This person here got up every morning at 5:30, uh, 5:45, and went out there and actually hand dusted with the male and the female plant, hand dusted every one of those pumpkins and pollinated them by hand. If it weren't for her, we would not have pumpkins growing out there. And so. if it weren't for him going to the beach and hauling back pounds and pounds of seaweed, but, to so, our beds, so that's we uh, okay. So you use seaweed. Uh, yes. Are you giving away any secrets? We're not giving away too many secrets. I think we've <laughs> said enough on read, that. You'll have to read our handbook. Our handbook, yes. All of right. our students have notes so that if they were to do this again, they can reference what worked. Yeah. We have an entire outdoor classroom that we constructed that we were happy to put the pumpkin challenge as a part of. The garden over at uh, Parkview really was the, the focus, I'd say, was really working with organic products. Okay, the only one other bit that I would add for you is it does make an influence or create an influence in the children's lives. Wow. 
And we, were those both the biggest? Were they the two biggest, or was there something yes. in? Yes. We had our two biggest. Yeah. We were in it to win it. Yeah. <laughs> and again, and again, and again um, I would have to say uh, uh, one of the things that I think set us apart was a almost entirely, almost entirely, um, a, a focus on using organic products. Really? Yeah. Organic products and just making sure the children were invested. So really you're the principal. Yes, I'm the principal, Chris Gutchell. And uh, what do you think of the job these guys did? We're thrilled. Um, we, we took the pumpkin challenge and um, basically used this contest to springboard a whole school garden at Parkview. So now we just don't have a pumpkin patch, we have vegetable patches and a whole outdoor classroom. And it's just growing and growing and growing. So um, we use this contest as a springboard to get kids um, hands dirty, so to speak, literally, at school. Um, and they're harvesting vegetables and we're eating them in the cafeteria. Um, we're cutting our own flowers and beautifying the school with them. It's been phenomenal. We have a whole Growing Green theme this year at our school. We have green enrichment programming coming in. So this contest really was a springboard to a whole year's worth of um, educational experiences for our kids. This literally did what we wanted. It got kids in the dirt. Yeah. Uh, and so many people said that there's a generation gap that doesn't know how to garden. And it's our job to teach them.